Hi stars, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm gonna talk about making a jammer circuit which you can find a lot of articles on the internet. I mean it's very simple. As you know, my specialty is digital and I want to make this circuit fancy. Okay, enough talking, let's get started. But before that, I want you to do something for me. Subscribe to the channel, like this video and set the notification bell to on. First of all, we need to know how to send a voice or digital message. Here you see the remotes that are the transmitters and these modules are the receivers. If we amplify the digital codes and connect them directly to the antenna, nationally these signals won't be sent because the frequency of these signals is low and the wavelength is long. As a result, we need the large antenna. To send these messages, they must be combined with a higher frequency. Finally, this signal is created and can be sent. This is called the ASK signal. There are two popular frequencies for this. One is 315 and the other is uh, 433 MHz. Now, if we send an intelligible code with the same frequency, there will be disturbance in the works of these uh, transmitters. But I don't make any code. I just program the Arduino to generate a square wave and send it as a message to the transmitter. Let me show you. Here I've connected a 430 MHz receiver to Arduino. If I press one of the transmitter keys, the receiver will receive the code of that key and display it on computer. The link of this program is in the description and you can check it out. Besides this, I have another transmitter that is connected to Arduino and if I connect the power of this module, you can see that the code is no longer received. This circuit works as long as uh, it's very close to the receiver. Now, what should we do to improve it? First, use a more powerful transmitter. Second, be sure to install an antenna for the transmitter. And finally, use powerful batteries. Be with me to make it. <laughs> We have to wait a bit here. In the first menu, we select the carrier frequency. I need the uh, 430T, so I press the A key. Here I set the frequency of the square wave, which should be between 100 Hz and 12 kHz. Let's see if it works or not.
By the way, if you press the C key, the device will be in uh, standby mode. Now that the device is in standby mode, you can see that the signal is received. I set the device again. You can see that the signal is still received because um, our transmitter is weak. I use a wire as an antenna so you can see the effect of the antenna this project is finished too I definitely use this box for this project. I would be very happy if you like and share this video. If you haven't uh, subscribed, please subscribe. I would like you to watch the end screen of this video and watch my other videos as well. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Uh, see you in the next video. Bye bye.